Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing yet another testing new makeup, but this will be I was going to say it's gonna be a drugstore version, but I actually do have a couple of products that are not. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for makeup and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when I do upload a new video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm in my like spinny chair. It's from my husband's arcade, little arcade thing that he has. So I'm sitting a little lower than usual, but I keep spinning. So if you guys see me doing this, please don't mind me. I'm just, it just feels nice to move around freely. One of my friends on YouTube actually has this palette and when she tried it, I was like, yeah, I picked up the BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Avocado Toast Eyeshadow Palette. This palette, when she tried it, I was like, oh my God, I freaking need it. So it has a whole bunch of olive tones in it. It has everything an avocado would be, it has in here and it has the most beautiful mauve shades. This is it right here. I mean, look at that. I can't say that I love just one color. They're all really pretty and I love what she did with her eyelid. Her name is Amelie Child. I'll go ahead and put her channel name and her video in the description box down below if you guys do wanna check her out. But the makeup looks that she does, she blends everything out really well and she's just very creative when it comes to her colors and she mixes her colors really well. This is the look that I wanna recreate. I think it is absolutely beautiful. It's smooth. The colors are just so gorgeous together. Another thing that I like about watching Melly is that she doesn't like need music <laughs> like I do to make her videos exciting because she's just really easy to listen to, kind of like ASMR. She's French, so she's got a French accent, and I think that that is just amazing in itself. I picked up some Kiss lashes. I've never tried Kiss lashes before, I don't think. This is in 09. And then I picked up a few other lip products. Everything else that I put on my face is going to be fairly new. I don't really have any new primers, so I think what I'm gonna do is just go in with my Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last Dragon Fruit Peach Setting Spray. I think I'm gonna go in with foundation first. Even though it's a little dark, I'm still gonna go in with it. Whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty foundation in 230N. It is a little dark, but you know, that's, that's fine. I found it really, really hard to shade match in this brand. I am gonna have another video coming out. It's pretty much gonna be like a take two of this brand. I did go back to Sephora and I tried to get the right shade, but it's almost too yellow on me and then the shade that's right in between 230N and the one that I got is too orange. So I'm just gonna have to make do with what she has. The sad part about it is that I actually really love the consistency of this foundation and I love the way that it looks on my skin and the coverage that it has. I've just never really used anything like this and it's just really sad. And I can't return this one because I don't have the receipt for it. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera and I'll be back in just a second. I did my eyebrows very quickly. It's not, it's not perfect, but that's fine. So now I'm gonna go into the palette. First color that I'm gonna go in with is Pit. I'm going in with my MAC 217 brush. I'm gonna lightly go in with this. I'm gonna build this up. So what she did is she brought it out. Ooh, this is a pretty shade. I'm gonna go in a little bit. She kind of kept this area clean. So I'm gonna try to do the same. And then I'm gonna bring this out. I'm not gonna bring it out as far. Barely got this color on, but I can already tell that this palette is gonna be one that I'm gonna be using a lot. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is Ripe. So it is a like a blue toned green. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M506 brush. It's a smaller blending brush. And I'm going to put those two colors together. This color is really nice. You don't really need to take off 
the excess of the eyeshadow because there is no fallout so far. I have a lot of real estate in this area so I can go a little higher than most people can. So I'm just blending up a little more. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is Avo Toast. It is a yellow toned green. Right now it's not very blended out, it just kind of looks like a line. So I kind of want to blend it out, but I don't want it to be super blended out that you can't see the colors. I'm gonna grab my Morphe M562 brush and I'm gonna grab a pit. I'm gonna kind of go over this area up here, just blend it up just a tiny bit and then bring this out a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eye off camera and then I'm going to cut the crease and then we'll get into the other colors. I finished this side, didn't cut the crease on this side just yet. All over the lid, I'm gonna go in with pink salt. It's a really pretty pink. This is so pretty, BH Cosmetics. The next color I'm gonna go in with is Paprika. I'm gonna kind of blend the two colors together. Ooh, I like the blend between those two colors there. So now I'm gonna go back in with Pit, which is the outer corner color with my smaller brush. I'm gonna blend these two colors together so that they mesh really well. And then to kind of finish off the look on this eye that she did, she went in with Expensive. So I'm gonna go in with that shade next and I'm gonna add it just right here. I'm assuming that's where she put it, I can't remember. I think hers may have been more in the middle. I am gonna grab a setting spray, grab Expensive on this brush and just spray it. And I'm gonna lay that color down, I think in the center. And then pat this on. For the brow bone highlight, we're gonna go in with lemon pepper. This is a like a green shimmer. I've never put like a colorful shimmer up there before, but we will go ahead and try it. I'm gonna put on some concealer before I get into the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Concealer in 210N. And then I'm gonna use my e.l.f. concealer brush. I have been using this a ton lately and I especially really love it with this concealer. It just blends everything out so well. This concealer is awesome too. I think I had mentioned it in the video that I loved it a lot. Now I think what she did is she pretty much followed what was up top on the bottom here. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M432 brush, just a tiny bit like that and then I'm gonna go in with the brush that I used earlier and with no product I'm just gonna blend this out just a little bit you guys know that I don't like to blow out my under eyes too much because it accentuates my under eye circles I go in with right which is the center shade up here Again with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with Avo Toast and I'm gonna put that right here. I think she put the pink one right here, but I think I'm gonna skip that because it won't show up on me. For the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go in with Avo Cuddle. Ooh, that is pretty. I just got this in my Ipsy. I literally just filmed it like an hour ago or something like that. I'm gonna go in with this Yenda Silk Bronzing Base. When I first tried this, I was like, oh my God, it looks so orange, but it looks really good on. I'm just gonna pat this on first. Like, as you can tell, it does look a little orange. When you blend it out, it doesn't look that way. So when I blend it out, I'm blending upward. I don't wanna blend downward because I don't want too much bronzer down here. This brush is fabulous. I love it. This would make a really, really good foundation brush as well. So I'm gonna kind of work this into the hairline a little bit because I don't want there to be a line that you can see. For blush, I'm gonna go in with my Auto Bomb Girl Powder Quad. I'm just gonna mix these two colors together right here. I just wanted a pinch of color. I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Soap Highlighter. I think I'm gonna go in with 
this shade right here. I'm gonna go in with any one. I think I'm gonna go in with this one. I think it's this one right here. I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. So I ended up just going in with this shade that I always use. Next I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with my Sugar Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Coal Eyeliner in Green Light. It is not the exact shade, but this is the only thing that I have that's even close to the eye look that I have here. I am gonna add some lashes. I don't know if I'm gonna do these kiss lashes. This look is so dramatic. Okay, let's just go ahead and try these lashes. The lashes really aren't that bad. I, I actually really enjoy them. It's like a cute, natural lash. This look is not very natural, but it still works really well with the pink. So I'm gonna go in with my Thrive Cosmetics mascara for the lower lash line. The lips, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Lip Pencil in Nude Truffle. It is like my absolute favorite right now. For my skin tone, it's like the perfect nude lip liner. I was actually gonna show you guys earlier, but I didn't. I have been using them a lot lately though. I did get the Milani Fruit Fetish lip balms in Pineapple Papaya and Kiwi Watermelon. These are a little bit more slippery than a regular balm, but they smell really good. They work really well. So I have been using these a lot lately. And then I did get the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquer in Work It and Skin Deep. I am going to tell you right now, so this is the exact dupe for the Bonnie Bell Cappuccino Lip Lights Lip Gloss. Like I shit you not. I, when I tried this on, I was literally jumping for joy because I couldn't believe that I found it. Yes, these are pricey. They're $29 a piece, but I bought them on sale for $20 and I, and I believe they're still on sale. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So Work It is, they say it's a pigmented cocoa or something. I can't remember. So this is what Work It looks like. It is so pretty. This is what Skin Deep looks like. Oh, the perfect nude. And this is what the applicator looks like. It's just a paddle and it's like the Morphe one, but these don't scrape. I've been seeing a lot of people wear lately um, is the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. This is really pretty. This is very, very similar to the Milani one that I've been like talking about the whole time that I wish that I could find a dupe for. I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, it's like pretty much done already. This is the Marc Jacobs Skin Deep. This is the Milani one that I was talking about and then this is the NYX Madeline. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the NYX Madeline on. Fortune Cookie is still my favorite, but this one is gorgeous. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try Work It. It's the cocoa color. I love how pigmented these lip glosses are. These lip glosses feel like butter on your lips. They're not sticky, they're not too slippery, they're right in between, they're really comfortable to wear. They are shiny, they make your lips look juicy. These are really beautiful. And then I'm gonna try on the other one. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Skin Deep. I just love how pigmented the color is, but it's not like too pigmented where you can see the color in between your lips and they just make your lips look like this. I really love these Marc Jacob lip glosses. I am probably gonna be obsessed with these and buy like, I don't know. I don't even know how many more. I just wanna get more because I love them so much. Now that we're done with the makeup, how did I do? Did I do a good job? I think I did really well. I could have done a little better with hers went out a little bit more and the blending could have been better, but I felt like hers was a little smoother. It's probably because she's younger. It's probably what it is. Now for everything else that I tried, we're gonna quickly go into it because my battery is dying. That's why I'm talking really fast. So this palette, totally worth it. I'm not sure how much it is, but it wasn't that much. I used a like a good amount of colors. All of the mattes blended out really well. The only issue that I had with was Pit. Pit is still a beautiful color, but it was a little patchy in some areas, so I had to pack on the color and then blend it out. All of the shimmers did really well. You didn't even need a setting spray to go in with it, but I still went in with it anyway right here, and oh, this palette is 
amazing. Fruit fetishes, I said that I have been using this a lot lately and I really do love these lip balms. The Kiss Lashes, I am actually really surprised that I do like these so much. I didn't think that I would like them. I don't know why, they just didn't seem really full, but they are very similar to the Ardell Wispies that I do wear on the regular. So I really love these and I will be using them a lot. The lip liner, super cheap. Love how neutral it is and it is creamy. The NYX Butter Gloss, this is probably like one of the perfect nude lip glosses from the drugstore that I've ever used other than the Milani one. This is just beautiful. The Marc Jacobs lip glosses, as you can tell throughout the whole video, I freaking love these. They feel really good, they look really good, they apply really well. I love the applicator that it can very easily move around the lips and the colors are gorgeous and they're on sale right now on Sephora, so go get them. The Yenza Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzer, I already talked about this in my Ipsy. I really did enjoy this, it blended out really well. I love that it came with the brush. The brush is amazing. It blends everything out really well. It's not too flimsy, but it's also not too dense. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed my video. If you did enjoy my video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out Melly's video with the avocado toast palette, and I will link everything down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.